So you might have heard of CSI, you might have watched Law and Order. These are just some of the forensic shows that uh, show us forensic science in real life. Let's get some insights from the SAP's very own forensic scientist, Wandile Nguna. Uh, morning, morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Wandi Lenkuna from the South African Police Service. So my job is to tell you about the different careers that we have with SAPS. But today I will only speak about the careers of forensic sciences. As you know that the SAPS is an employer of choice. We have my careers of choices. I will just summarize few careers under a forensic. Uh, okay, number one, you have to know what is a forensic science first. Because the forensic science, uh, sorry, the slide here. How to move this thing? It's next and back. Sorry, 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 sorry. I think I missed something here. Okay, sorry. Uh, number one, you have to know what is forensic science because some people, they don't know learners what is forensic science. Forensic science is the application of a science to the law by gathering uh, and examining evidence to use in legal case. Then they use e analytical and scientific techniques to examine evidence for my crimes and prepare the legal statement to the court. As you know that SAPS, they won't function if we don't have a forensic sciences. Then the forensic sciences technicals, they work with laboratory, with crime scene, to collect evidence. Then the main role of the forensic science is to collect evidence like in Shiloh and analyzing any evidence. They communicate with the law enforcement to testify at trails. Then what do you need if when you want to join the SAPS as a forensic science? Because the SAPS, we have the big lab where we have my experts. What do you need? Because most people, some of them, they join us with metric. If you have a maths and science, you can join a forensic science like SAPS. Or if you have a degree, under uh, 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 science or biology or forensic sciences. You can come and work with SAPS as a forensic sciences. Okay, but first, there is some skills that we check out with SAPS. If you want to a job, we give you a job with SAPS. You must have the certain skills. You must be enjoy my studying. Uh, you must be enjoy to doing my experiment. You must be enjoy to like doing my puzzles to do my research and analyze my data. All those skills, if you have my skills now, which means you can choose a career under a forensic. You can go to university and do any career of your choice under forensic. Then after graduation, then you can come and apply for a job with SAPS. Then another thing, uh, here I put just a, a clip here, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yema Penas to show the careers that we have with SAPS. Uh, if you see with SAPS, we have the investigative group. The investigative group, those are people who are working with forensic sciences. We have my career lab. I try to summarize and put the, 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 the careers that we have with SAPS. If you see with SAPS, we need my biologistic. We need people who did the chemistry. We need people who did the drug analysis, people who are dealing with drugs. We need uh, the quality assurance forensic. We need the facial reconstruction uh, forensic. We need the handwriting expert, because you know that some people, they forge my signatures. Then if we have Lama cases law, we take that case to the handwriting expert to check who signed that, that check or who signed that document. 
So you can study all those careers, the DNA examiner, the electronics, like I've said, uh, the shim management, the trace analysis, the quality assurance, the question documents. Those are the forensic science. Let's now go lab, you have SAPS. So you can go to university and study any careers under a forensic. Then you can come and work for SAPS as a forensic analyst. Then another thing, we investigative group, like I've said, we have my careers in corner. Uh, we have X-ray analysis. We have X-ray lab, we have SAPS. We need people who did more radiographer to come and work for SAPS. We need people who did both horticulturists to come and work for SAPS. We need people who did the ballistic analyst to come and work for SAPS. The ballistic analysts are those people who are working in Macans. Let's say there is a cases where, like that case is here. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Oscar Pretorius. You know that case is that we send my ballistic analysis to tell us how they shoot uh, that wife here, Oscar Pretorius. Ne? You can study any careers, then you can come and join the SAPS. We need also the forensic social worker who SAPS. We need also the forensic laboratories who SAPS. Just that I, I won't go deep and explain what the careers, how, what you have to study if you want to join those if you want to study uh, the forensic la laboratories. But what I can tell you, if you have in math and science, math and science, you can do any careers under a forensic sciences, then you can come and join ESAPS as a forensic scientist. We need more forensic scientists. We give them a salary leg high level. Most of them, they join us school level. My captain, if you come into qualification Niako, from university, once you apply with SAPS, you become a captain. If you have a bachelor degree with science, you become a captain under a forensic science, you have SAPS, and you became a police. But your job, you'll be doing any forensic sciences. You become an expert at SAPS. Then another thing, like I've said, we need people who study more law the law. We have a forensic law, SAPS. We have, we have uh, the aircraft maintenance engineer, SAPS. You must be good with maths and science. Then you can come and join the SAPS as a maintenance engineer, SAPS, as a pilot, SAPS, as a mechanical engineer, SAPS. Then another thing, a uh, investigative group, we also have my careers. Uh, good legal service, good SAPS. You study the criminology, then you can work with SAPS as a criminology, uh, SAPS, legal service official. Uh, you can join the SAPS as a, a facial reconstruction. The facial reconstruction, let's say, in a case where we found my skeletons, we need people who did a forensic, a, a, a facial, a forensic science as a facial reconstruction to tell us who are those people with those skeletons to tell us. Ne? Which means if you are the facial reconstruction, you cover the face, you cover that skeleton with a skin or whatever, so that we can see. Do you understand? I hope all of you, you understand what I'm talking about. The endangered species, we need them go SAPS. Then another thing, go investigate, investigative group, we also have my careers under my psychologist. We need the psychologist who forensic at SAPS. We need a psychometric who forensic at SAPS. The polygraphics who forensic at SAPS. The veteran surgeon who SAPS, which means you can study any or animal doctor, then you become a forensic science at SAPS. So that's all that I can say. If you want more information, go to the website at SAPS, www.saps.gov.za, where you will find more information about the careers. Because at SAPS, we only give you each job. You study, then you apply for each job at SAPS. We won't train you to be a forensic scientist. You have to go to school and do a career of your choice. After graduating, you apply for each job at SAPS as a forensic science. Thank you.